Alright hey everybody, uh, I just found out uh, Dave Carney, I think he shot himself, uh, I could be wrong now, I'm not 100%, I know he's dead, I remember speaking to him on Dan's channel one night, and a lot of men don't realise suicide, that man had hundreds of people around him. Thousands of people knew. Hundreds of thousands. He'd fought, he'd an army, he'd, he'd a farm around him. But yeah, he was still lonely. And he was afraid to talk about it because he was Dave Courtney. This is what I'm saying about ego. See, I look at your ego when you're on your fucking own and you have a fucking nine in your hand. Boom! That's it. There's no coming back from that. You know what I mean? Men are too fucking proud. Do you understand? I feel sick. I only spoke to the man once, but what I do know about is suicide. And there is life after fucking suicide. If men open up and talk about their fucking feelings and not act like a William fucking Wallace all the time. That man had hundreds of people around him. But he was very lonely. Men need to start talking. You know, hey, a hard man. What? Know what I mean? A very solid fella. Loads around him. And took his life. How lonely must he have been? Because you're... Once people put a reputation on you, that's it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like... But when it comes to mental health and suicide, I know how low he must have been to do that. But anyway, I'm going to say goodnight to you all, but I'll tell you one thing, men need to start talking. I know too many people that is up to taking their own poxy life because they're afraid to talk to their family. Because their family are too busy with their own fucking life that they don't see. Anyway, shout out to everybody that has mental health issues. Guys, listen to me. If you ever feel suicidal or anything like that, reach out to a friend, a family member, any fucking body. We're all human, do you understand? Men need to start fucking talking about their mental health. Good night. Rest in peace, Dave.